work. I even jingle jangled with a festive twerk. I'm not a regular tree, I'm a cool tree. It's time to tell you about my family history. She plays the piano. Listen to that music. Is that like country? My daddy's a tinsel and my mama's pom pom. Mix them together, it's a holiday rom com. Growing up, they told me to be true to myself. I've always been their favorite elf. Elf? Zoe Deschanel. They encouraged me to share all the gifts that I own. They never made me feel like I was left home alone. So, staying at the White House. So, ever since then, I've added wicked flair, more glow. Try to be as colorful as a fruitcake. Yummo! Yummo. Food Yum reference Yum again. Food, yeah. I hope tonight's performance will earn me gifts and not lumps of coal. So sit back and relax as I perform a song by the late Queen of Soul. They said like every Christmas movie. Yeah, Home Alone, Elf. Elf. Yeah, we're extra stumped. Don't flatter yourself. It doesn't take much to stump me. <laughs> but I'm not giving you any because oh. you are super talented. <laughs> I think I made a mistake and said that I didn't think you were a trained singer. I was obviously wrong. You're captivating. This was an incredible performance, and, and I think you gave Nick Cannon Poison Oak, so... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Tree is feeling it. Nicole, were you picking up on any clues? Yeah, they were making reference again to the Christmas movies, Home Alone, Elf, and it made me think of Amy Sedaris, the actress in Elf. Um, she's quirky and fun and has a lot of energy, like, like the tree. I do agree with Nicole, and I am thinking of someone who is known for Christmas movies like Elf. I was thinking of Zoe Deschanel, and actually, People in the know know like what, what incredible mm -hmm. voice she has. That's a good guess. Great job, Zoe Deschanel. I guessed it. I'm probably right. You're welcome. End of show. Drop the mic. <laughs> End of show. Thank you, Ken. But also, there's this reoccurring theme about food. The last time she performed, I was going with Rachel Ray. We were thinking cooking stars or, or television hosts with cooking shows. So I'm going to stay with Rachel Ray for now. Oh, I said that, Rachel Ray, with yeah, you, too. but I don't think it's Rachel Ray, because Rachel Ray's voice is a little more raspy, kind of like mine is right now. I mean, Padma, Padma is on the Food Network, right? Ah. Does she have that kind of a powerful voice? Yeah, that's a great guess. Miss Tree, can you give all of us one more clue, please? I have been a brand ambassador, and it does relate to food. Brand ambassador. See? But she's saying a brand ambassador, maybe that means that she's not the chef. It's not her. Uh, she's a figurehead. Yeah, she's like, correct. Right. Little Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> but that actually did help a little bit. Nicole, did that help you at all? Not at all, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tree, it seems like you definitely got him stumped, but you gave us all an amazing performance. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time. 
for the three. This one is so impossible. Yep, I guarantee you, it's someone big. Yeah. That's right, they're trying to throw us. Our panel thought one of these celebrities might be under the tree mask. Who do you think it is? And now, whether you're from the South...